Hey, said I'm one, come test me. Pick two rap with a sling mic, look off and met like a man from Jesse. Uh, heard that they talking that big talk, lip off, which god, listen, don't vex me. I'ma stand for the father perpetually, definitely, big man, don't get chesty. Any weapon they form, don't stress me. Hey, I'm an issue like child, no destiny. Separated, he chose and select me. In his ring, need clothes and he dress me. Look without him, my soul will be empty. To the Lord of the host, I confess thee. I don't do this for sport or for trendies. Disrespect, it'll only get messy. Uh. Yeah, they can never take hold of my faith. I'ma stand with my sword at the gate. Holding this to the Lord on the plate. See your idols ain't holding no weight. I ain't here trying to hold no debate. See my God ain't no solar replace. Disrespect and stone in your face. Look, you must be a fool to can. Pour me a shirel. Pour me a shirel. Pour me a shirel. Come on, I wanna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. And we do so by Shima Mashiach, Omalaki, I will shine, man. Right? Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, right? Who this world calls the Most High, and Yahweh Shai, who this world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, man. Right? Whose true name in the Hebrew tongue, the Lashawam Kodash, is Yahweh Shai, man. Right? We are here to wake up the lost sheep of the house of Israel, the so called blacks, Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians, man. Right? And that's why we come out here every week, man. Right? We ain't out here for the so called white man. Right? We ain't out here for the Arab, man. We ain't, out, we ain't out here for the Chinese, man, man. We out here for our people, man. Right? To teach them their God-given nationality and heritage, man. Right? And to get themselves ready for the day of judgment, man. Right? That's the gospel, man. Right? Give me the book of Luke chapter 17, man. And verse 32. Baba Kishore. The book of Luke, chapter 17, and verse number 32. Right. And it reads, Remember Lot's wife. What did the Lord say? Remember Lot's wife. Hey, man, you got to remember Lot's wife, man. Right? That's, that's a commandment, man. Right? Give me the book of Matthew, chapter 4, and verse 4, man. Bring that up. Matthew 4 and 4. Right. But he answered and said, it is written. It is written. Man shall not live by bread alone. Right. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Right. So man got to live by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. Right. And what did the Lord say? Read that again, James. And it reads, Luke 17 and 32. Right. Remember Lot's wife. Right. We got to remember Lot's wife, man. Right? So let's go to that account to see why the Lord had to reiterate that, man. Give me the book of Genesis chapter 18 and start at verse 20. Give me the book of Genesis chapter 19 and start at verse 1. Come on. And we're going to touch our history, man. Right? Bring that up. The book of Genesis chapter 18 verse 20. Right? And the Lord said, Because they cry of Sodom and Gomorrah, is great and because their sin is very grievous right i will go down now and see whether they have done all together according to the cry of it which is come unto me and if not i will know right Reed. and the men turned their faces from thence and went toward sodom but abraham stood yet before the lord and abraham drew near and said Wilt thou also destroy the righteous with the wicked? Right. Will, will thou also destroy the righteous with the wicked, man? Right? Because the Most High, hey, he about to visit Sodom and Gomorrah, man. Right? Because of the cry that was going on in the land, man. Right? Read. Her adventure, there are 50 righteous within the city. Right. Will thou also destroy and not spare the place for the 50 righteous right so abraham is saying to the lord hey if there is 50 righteous in that city man are you going to destroy that city with 50 righteous in it man right read that are therein that be far from thee to do after this manner to slay the righteous with the wicked right and that the righteous should be at as the wicked that be far from thee Shall not the judge of all the earth do right? And the Lord said, 
if I find Sodom 50, if I find in Sodom 50 righteous within the city, then I will spare all the place for their sake. Right. And Abraham answered and said, Behold now, I have taken upon me to speak unto the Lord, which am but dust and ashes. For adventure, there shall lack five of the fifty righteous, will thou destroy all the city for lack of five? Right, now it, first it was fifty, and now it's down to five, man. Right? Read. And he said, if I find there forty and five, I will not destroy it. Right. And he said unto him yet again, and said, peradventure, there shall be forty found there. And he said, I will not do it for forty's sake. And he said unto him, Oh, let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak. For adventure, there shall be thirty be found there. Right, so he started from fifty counts, trying to find righteous people in Sodom and Gomorrah, man. Right? That's what we out here doing, man. We trying to find the righteous in, in Babylon the Great, man. Right? But there's only a few, man. Right? Imagine, Abraham started off with 50, man. Now he's down to 45. Now he's down to 30, man. Hey, man, he, he can't find him, man. Right? Read. And he said, I will not do it if I find 30 there. And he said, Behold now, I have taken upon me to speak unto the Lord. For adventure, there shall be 20 found there. And he said, I will not destroy it for twenty's sake. And he said, Oh, let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak yet for this once. Peradventure, ten shall be found there. And he said, I will not destroy it for ten's sake. And the Lord went his way as soon as he had left, communing with Abraham, right. and Abraham returned Onto his place. Right, read on. Is that, is that it? Don, verse chapter 19. Genesis 19 and 1. Right. And there came two angels of Sodom at even, and Lot sat in the gate of Sodom. And Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face toward the ground. And he said, Behold, now, my Lord, turn in, I pray you, into the servant's house, and tarry all night, and wash your feet, and ye shall rise up early, and go on your ways. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the streets all night. And he pressed upon them greatly, and they turned in unto him and entered into his house right and he and he made them a feast and did bake unleavened bread and they did they did eat but before they laid down the men of the city even the men of sodom compassed the house round right so these men these angels they came to dwell with, with lot man right they had a feast and then the men of Sodom encompassed the house round about, man. Right? Read on. Both old and young, all the people from every quarter. And they called unto Lot and said unto him, Where are the men which came in to thee this night? Bring them out unto us that we may know them. Right. So they said, Hey, bring these men so that we may know them, man. Right? And they didn't want to get to know these men. And, 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 and how old they are, man, where they from, what their nationality is, man. When he says they wanted to know them, hey, they wanted to live with those men, man. Right? Just being wicked, man. Read. And Lot went out at the door unto them and shut the door after him and said, I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly. Right. Behold now, I have two daughters which have not known man. What did he say? I have two daughters which have not known men. Right, to show you that these men wanted to have sex with the angels, man. Just madness, man. Read. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you, and do ye to them 
as is good in your eyes. Right, so Lot was, a, he, he rather give those men his daughters, man, so that they can do whatever they please, man. Right? Read. Only unto these men do nothing. Right. For therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. And they said, stand back. And they said, again, this one fellow came into the so, into sojourn. And he will need be a judge. Now will we deal worse with thee than with them? And they pressed sore upon the man, even Lot, and came near to break the door. Right, so they, hey, they wanted those men badly, man. Right, to the point where they wanted to kick the damn door down, man. Right, just to get on some men, man. Right? Read. But the men put forth their hand and pulled Lot into the house to them and shut to the door. And they smote the men that were at the door of the house with blindness, right. both small and great, so that they wearied themselves to find the door. And the men said unto Lot, Hast thou here any besides son-in-law, and thy sons, and thy daughters, and whatsoever thou hast in the city, bring them out of this place. Right. For we will de destroy this place. For we will what? For we, we will, will destroy, destroy this place. place. What's coming to America? For we, we will, will destroy this place. place. Right. We will destroy this place, man. Right. Because of the wickedness and the evils that were in the land, man. Right. Homosexuality, man. Right. That's the same judgment that the Most High God is bringing to America, man. Right. Passing gay rights laws, man. Right. Hey, now the damn faggots got more rights than us, man. Right? Every single law that they want passed, man, it gets passed through Congress with ease, man. Right? But if the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, want, it, want a little bit of a leeway, man, some civil rights, man, right? Hey, it takes hundreds of years, man, right? For them to even consider giving us anything, man, right? And this is, these are the evils that are in the land, man, right? Read. For we will destroy this place because the cry of them is waxing great before the face of the Lord. Right. And, we, and we cry into the Most High to destroy this place, man. Right? Read. And the Lord hath sent us to destroy it. And Lot went out and spake unto his sons-in-law, right. which married his daughters, and said, Up, get you out of this place. Right. For the Lord will destroy this city. For the Lord will what? For, for the, the Lord, Lord will destroy, destroy this city. city. Hey, for the Lord will destroy this city, man. Right? Read. But he seemed as one that mocked unto his sons-in-law. And when the morning arose, then the angels hastened Lot, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters which are here. Right. Lest thou be consumed in the iniquities of the city. Right. He said the angels hastened Lot, man, and his daughters, man, to get up out of this city, man. Right? Because destruction is coming, man. Right? So you want to move in the spirit, man, of hasting to get at, right with the most high, man. And before destruction comes to this place, man. Right? Read. He lingered. He did what? He lingered. Yeah, he lingered. Hey, hey he lingered, man. Right? You don't want to be lingering in this society, man. You don't want to linger to get this house, man. You don't want to linger just because you want to get this, this uh, prestige job, man. This position, man. You want to gain the world, man. Hey, man, it says he, he delayed, man. He lingered, man. Right? Read. The men laid hold upon his hand and upon the hand of his wife. Right. And upon the hand of his two daughters, the Lord being merciful unto him, and they brought him forth and set him without the city. Right, so they kind of had to grab him up, man. Because he was lingering, because he was caught up in the, in the place, man. He didn't want to really leave, man. Right? Even though he knew destruction was coming, hey, man, the angels warned him, man. And he still lingered. Hey, sometimes you got to kind of grab brothers up, man. Hey, we spiritually grabbing brothers up, man. Right? By telling them, hey, man, if you don't get right, the most is going to destroy you, man. Right? Read. And it came to pass when they had brought them forth abroad 
that he said, escape for thy life. Do what? Escape, escape for, for thy life. life. What are we supposed to do in Babylon? Escape, escape for, for thy life. life. Hey, you want to escape for your life, man? Hey, destruction is coming to this place, man. Whether you believe it or not, man. What, and what did the Lord say you're supposed to do? Escape for thy life. Hey, you got to escape for your life, man. Right? Read. Look not behind thee. Do what? Look, look not, not behind thee. Nah, we we supposed to look, forget about the path. Look, look not, not behind thee. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, damn, uh, I'm looking for towards the future. Look not behind thee. Right, look not behind thee. Neither stay thou in all the plain. Right, look back, look not behind you is you worrying about the things that of this world, man. Right? Look not behind you is you worrying about the things that you, 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 you acquired in this life, man. Right? All the vanity, right, and vain things that you hold dear, man. The carnal things, man. Look not back in uh, in what you have, man. Right? But what? Escape to the mountains. Right? Lest thou be consumed. And Lot said unto them, O oh, not so, my Lord. Behold now, thy servant has found grace in thy sight. Right? And thou hast magnified thy mercy, which thou hast showed Onto me in saving my life. Right. So, hey, hey, this hey, a lot of us. The only reason we're gonna be saved is because of mercy, man. Right. Because even though the Lord is giving us the understanding, He's given us warning by the prophets, man. You have some brothers that still be lingering, man, and delaying, man. Right. And the Lord has to be showing mercy before destruction happens, man. Right. But hey, ultimately, it's gonna it, it's gonna be too late, man. Right. Read. And I cannot escape in the, to the mountains, lest some evil take me and I die. Behold now, this city is near to flee, unto, flee unto. And it is a little one, like, oh, let me escape thither. It is not a little one, and my soul shall live. And he said unto him, see, I have accept, accepted be concerning this thing also, right? that I will not overthrow the city for the which thou hast spoken. Haste, hasty, escape thither, for I cannot do anything till thou be come thither. Wherefore, the name of the city was called Zor, and the sun was risen upon the earth, and then Lot entered into Zor. Then the Lord reigned upon Sodom and Gomorrah, right? Brim, brimstone and fire. What did the Lord do? Brim, uh, like this. The Lord reigned upon Sodom and Gomorrah, brimstone and fire. Right. From the Lord out of heaven, and He overthrew those cities and all the plains and all the inhabitants of the city, and that which grew upon the ground. But His wife looked back from behind Him. What did His wife do? His wife looked back from behind him. What is remember Lot's wife? His wife looked back from behind him. Hey, and his wife looked back, man. She's, the city is being destroyed and she looked back, man. Right? Look back, Looking back at all the things that she had, right? Looking back at all the things that she wanted, man. Right? Hey, and what happened? And she became a pillar of salt. What did the Lord do to her? And she, she became, became a, a pillar, pillar of salt. Hey, man, and she stood there, man, and never left, man. She became a pillar of salt, right? And and what? And Abraham got up early in the morning to the place where he stood before the Lord. And he looked toward Sodom and Gomorrah and toward all the land of the plain. And beheld, and lo, the smoke of the country went up as a smoke of a furnace. Right. Hey, give me, go to the book, go back to um, Luke chapter 17 and start at verse 26. Right. So his wife looked back, man. Right. And hey, she turned into a pillar of salt, man. Right. Just because, and even though she knew that destruction was taking place, man, hey, you don't want to look back, man. Right. Bring that up. The book of Luke chapter 17, verse 26. Right. And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives. They were given in marriage unto the day that Noah entered into the ark. And the flood came and destroyed them all. What, what happened? 
and the flood came and destroyed them all. Right, so why are you worried about eating, right, and drinking, man, right? Getting married, man, being given in marriage, man. Hey, man, that, these are the things that the carnal man is worried about, man, right? While these things are taking place, man, hey, the Lord is getting ready to visit this place, man, with plagues, man, right? Brimstone and fire, man, right? To burn up the so-called white man, man, right? And all that are conformed to his ways, man, right? Read. So like, oh. 28. Likewise, also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, right. they planted, right. they they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it, right. it rained fire and brimstone right. from heaven and destroyed them all. Right. Read. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. What, what did the Lord say? Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Right. Even thus shall it be in the day of the when the Son of Man is revealed, man. Right? When Christ comes back, he ain't gonna be holding hands, man. It's gonna be brimstone and fire upon this place, man. Right? I, 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 I hate when Christians always say, Oh, Jesus is coming back and we're gonna be raised up with him and everything is gonna be perfect and nice, man. Hey, read that again. But in the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven. It did what? It rained fire and brimstone from heaven. Nah, it was just nice and sunny and a good weather. It rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. And did what? And destroyed them all. Hey, and destroyed them all, read. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Right, even, hey, that's the same thing that's gonna happen, man. When the Lord comes back, man, there's gonna be millions and millions of people getting put to death, man. Right, dying of plagues, man. Right? Give me the book of 2 Ezra chapter 15, and I believe, give me, start at verse 14. Second Ezra 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. What did the Lord say? Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Hey, woe to the world and everyone that dwell therein. Read. For the sword. For the what? For the sword. What is these ICBMs? For the sword. Right. And their destruction. Draw if not. Nah, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to, uh, uh, delay. Their destruction draweth not. It's going to linger. Their destruction draweth not. Hey, man, it's only a matter of second before all these men push the damn buttons, man. Right? Read. And one people shall stand up and fight against another. What's going to happen? And one, one people, people shall, shall stand, stand up and fight against another. another. Hey, and one people shall rise up and fight against another, man. That's talking about civil war, man. That's talking about race wars, man. Hey, man, race wars are coming to this place, man. Hey, you better teach your son that, man. Right? Do you know that race wars are coming to America, man? Right? Read. And the sword in their hands. Right. For there shall be sedition among men. Right. And invading. Right. There's going to be seditions among men, man. There's going to be, uh, what, they're going to be uh, uh, speaking about certain uh, groups, talking about these are hate groups, man. These men are, are anti-Semites, man, right? These men are, are pro-Israel and these are pro-Palestine. Hey, we already see these seditions among men, man, right? Read. For they, for their shall... So like, yeah, these black Hebrew Israelites, man, on the corner speaking hate, man, right? Now, hey, you look, you look at us, man. Hey, we on the same list as the damn KKK, man. Right? Southern Poverty Law Center, man. Right? What a canary mission, man. Right? Uh, uh, Anti-defamation, the ADL, man. Hey, they got Israelite groups on there, man. Hey, and we've never yet lynched anybody 
or, or put a damn, uh, uh, what do you call them, in, in the front of the yard? What do they call that? Swastikas, man. Burn swastikas, man. In the front of anybody's yards, man. Right? Or murdered anybody, man. But yet we are not the same list as the damn KKK, man. Right? Sedition. Read. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. And doing what? And invading one another. What's happening in Ukraine? And invading one another. What's happening in, in Israel? And invading one another. Hey man, and invading one another, man. Are we seeing these things come to pass, man? Right? Hey man, don't be surprised. I don't think for a second that America can't be invaded, man. Right? Don't they say that they're, they're invading the borders, man? Right, they have illegal criminals and immigrants coming through the borders, man. Right, murdering people, man. Hey, America is it's been invaded, man. Right? Sleeper cells everywhere, man. Hey, they just waiting for the, for that for that phone call, man. So they can push that button, man. Right? And then Alam Halam is gonna bomb that damn gas station up, man. Right? Hadith don't pull up on you, man. Right? A Muhammad by the gas station go strap some bombs on his chest, man. Right? Read. They shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their actions. Hey, and guess what? They're not going to give a damn about your pre their presidents, man. Or your mayors in those days, man. Right? All hell going to be breaking loose, man. Just as it was during the time of Noah and during the time of Lot. Right? Hey, man, they, they're just going to be caught out there, man. Right? Read. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Right? You can't even travel, man. You can't even... Uh, hey, you going to want to go... Oh, I got to go get my wife, man. Oh, hell breaking loose. You can't even come back, man. Right? Oh, hell breaking loose. You trying to go get your children and your wife, man. You're not going to be able to, man. That's how bad it's going to be in this land, man. Right? Read. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The, the houses shall be destroyed. The what? The houses shall be destroyed. Right? And men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Hey, man. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, man. Hey, your own brother gonna try to kill you, man. For, for a damn crackers, man. For a damn saltines, man. Right? Read. But shall destroy their houses with the sword. Right? And spoil their goods. And do what? And spoil their goods. Hey, man, they, hey, you know, uh, now brother, brother Amawan, he, he always got them damn uh, 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 canned goods, man. He, he brought us to his house. He showed us his stash, man. Now, all hell breaking. Hey, hey, I remember uh, Amawan. He's, he had all these these canned goods, man. Let's go hit him up, man. Now they're beating his damn door down, kicking it off the hinges, man, just to get a damn can of sardines, man. Right? Read. Because of the lack of bread. Because of what? Because, because of the lack of bread. Hey, man, famine is coming to this place, man. Right? Right now, you got inflation going on, man. Hey, you can barely afford gas, man. Right? In the days to come, you can't even afford, hey, buy food, man. The shelves gonna be empty, man. Right? All these things, famine is coming to this land, man. Right? And death, man. Right? Read. Because of the lack of bread right. and for great tribulation. Behold, save God, I will come I will call together all the kings of the earth to reverence me, which are from the rising of the sun, from the south, from the east, and Lebanon. Khan, you can drop that. Re read what you got, King. Luke 17 and 33. Right. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. What did the Lord say? Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. Hey, you trying to save this damn wicked life you live in, man. You trying to save your house, man. You trying to save that nice car, man. 
You trying to save all that, that jewelry you bought, man. Right? Hey, the Lord says he that seeks to save his life shall lose it, man. Hey, you're going to lose all those things that you're trying to save, man. Right? Read. And whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. Hey, and guess what? Hey, you got to be ready to give those things up, man. Right? To save your soul, man. Just as Lot gave up all these things and, and dipped, man. And bounced, man. Right? Read. Verse 34. I tell you, in that night, there shall be two men in one bed, and one shall be taken, and another shall be left. Right? Two women shall be grinding together. The one shall be taken, and the other left. Right? Two men taken, and the other left. Right? And they answered and said unto him, Where, Lord? And he said unto them, Wheresoever the body is, thither will the eagles be gathered together. Come on, give me Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. Give me Matthew chapter 10 and start at verse 1. Still like you dropped it. Give me um, 1 John 2 and 15. Romans 12 and 2. Right? And be not conformed to this world. What did the Lord say? And be not conformed to this world. Right, so the Lord is saying you're not supposed to be conformed to this world, man. Right? You don't want to get down with all the philosophies of this world, man. Every damn holiday or, or holiday, you celebrate, man. Right? The Lord says not to be conformed with this world, man. Right? You, you don't want to celebrate Thanksgiving, man. Fourth of July, man. St. Patrick's Day, man. Christopher Columbus Day, man. All these wicked holy days that, of men, man. Traditions of men. Hey, man, the Lord says, hey, be not conformed to these things, man. Read that again. Be not conformed to this world. Right. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Right, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, man. Right? Renew your mind with thus saith the Lord, man. Renew your mind with these commandments, man. Renew your mind... And, and with, the, with all these, the words of life, man. Right? Not with these things of this carnal world, man. That shall pass away, man. Right? Give me the book of 1 John 2 and 15. The book of 1 John, chapter 2, verse 15. Right? Love not the world. What did the Lord say? Love, Love not, not the world. world. Wait a minute. I thought for God so loved the world, man. Right? If the Lord loves the world, man, why is he coming back to destroy it, man? Right? Read that again. Love not the world. Right? Neither the things that are in the world. Hey man, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world, man. Right? Read. If any man love the world, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. What did he say? The love of the Father is not in him. Hey man, if you love this wicked world, the love of God is not in you, man. Right? If you love America, Hey man, the love of God is not in you, man. Right? The Lord says, love not the world, nor the things that are in the world, man. Right? So if you love this wicked world, man, hey, the Lord ain't dealing with you, man. Read. For all that is in the world, right? the lust of the flesh. The what? The lust of the flesh. Hey, for all that is in the world is the lust of the flesh, man. Walking around lusting after women, women lusting after men, man. Lusting after the things that don't belong to you, man. Hey, man, all that is in the world is the lust of the flesh, man. Just what I want, 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 man. Right? Read. And the lust of the eyes. And the lust of the eyes, man, being covetous, man. Right? Read. And the pride of life. And the what? And the pride of life. Hey, and the pride of life, man. Read. Uh, it's not of the Father, but of the world. Right, hey, the lust of the eyes is not the lust of life, the pride of life, the lust of the eyes. Hey, these things are not of the Father, man, but of the world, man. Right? Read. Uh, and the world passes away. And the world what? And the world passes away. Hey, man, and the world passeth away, man. You think this world is going to last forever, man? You think the so-called white man is still going to be ruling this place, man? Right? Hey, it's not going to happen, man. The Lord is coming back to establish his kingdom, man. 
Right? Give me the book of second Ezra chapter 8 and verse 1, man. Right? Second Ezra is 8 and 1. And he answered me, saying, The Most High have made this world for many. Right, the Most High had made this world for many. The many is all these other nations, man. Right? The Most High had made this world for many. But the world to come. But the what? But the world to come for few. Hey, but the world to come is only for a few, man. Right? The few is the Israelites, man. Give me 2nd Ezra chapter 6 and verse 5. Who is the few? The book of 2nd Ezra chapter 6 verse 5. Verse 9. Verse 9. Right? For Esau is the end of the world. What did the Lord say? For Esau is the end of the world. Hey, for Esau is the end of the world, man. Hey, man, this world is going to end by the hands of these damn Edomites, man. Right? For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. Who is the few? And Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. Right, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it, man. Right? The world to come is for the Israelites, man. Right? And we are here to tell you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians, that you are the Israelites of the Bible, man. Right? And, and you got to repent, man. And come back to the most high and not be conformed to this world, man. Right? Give me the book of John chapter 17 and verse 9. Bring it out. John 17 and verse 9. Right? I pray for them. I pray not for the world. What did the Lord say? I, I pray, pray for, for them. them. I, I pray, pray not, not for the world. world. Now nah, he prays for everybody. I pray, I pray for, for them. them. I, I pray, pray not, not for the world. Hey man, the Lord says he prays for them. I pray not for the world, man. Right? The them is the Israelites, man. The Lord only prays for his people, man. Right? He prays not for the world, man. Right? Read. But for them which thou hast given me. Right? For they are thine. Right? And all mine are thine. Right? And thine are mine. Right? And I am glorified in them. Right? And now I am no more in the world. And what did the Lord say? And now I am no more in the world. Read. But these are the world. These are in the world. Right? And I come to thee. Right? Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. Right, read. While I was with them in right. the world, I kept them in thy name. Right. Those that thou gavest me, I have kept. And none of them is lost. And what? And none of them is lost. Right. Hey, the most high God has as his elect, man. Right? That he's gonna raise up in the name of Yahweh Shai, man. Right? These men are gonna be lost, man. These men are not gonna be conformed, man. Right? Read. But the son of perdition. Right. That the scriptures might be fulfilled. And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world. Right. That they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. Right. I have given them thy word. Thy word. I have what? I have, I have given, given them, them thy, thy word. word. Hey, I have given them thy word, man. Read. And the world has hated them. And the what? And, and the, the world, world has, has hated them. them. Hey, man, and they hate us for coming out here and teaching our people, man. Right? They hate us to tell brothers to get in order, man. To take care of their wives and their children, man. Right? They hate us for coming out here and, tell, and, and, and telling sisters, hey, you got to be submissive, man. You got to hey, close your damn mouth, man. Right? Read. Hey, and, and these other nations, man. They hate us for teaching our people that they're God's chosen people, man. They want you to be niggers, man. Black, African-American, man. That's what they want you to be, man. At a low frequency, man. They don't want you to know that you're God's chosen people, man. And this world was created for you, man. Right? 
That's why they hate you, man. Right? Even as I am not of the world. Even as what? Even, even as, as I, I am not of the world. world. Hey, even as our Lord is not a part of this world, man. Right? Our Lord never get down with this world, man. He came and, and rebuked them, man. Damn Christian talking about the Lord never screamed at anybody. Hey, man, you don't know the Bible, man. You haven't read the Bible, man. Right? Set up your damn nasty microphone on the Sabbath talking about the Lord never spoke loud, man, or shouted at anybody. Hey, man, what Bible are you, you reading, man? Right? Read. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world. Right? But that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. Right. Hey, the, hey, Lord, preserve them in this wicked world, man. Right? And and, and and preserve them from the evils, man. Which are already which already are and which are to come, man. Read. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Right. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy, wor thy word is the truth. Hey, Amen. And the Lord is sanctifying his saints through the through his words, man. This holy book, man. Right? Read. As thou hast sent me into the world, right? even so have I also sent them into the world. Right. And that's why we out here, man. Because the Lord has sent us into this world to preach the true gospel to the people, man. Right? Not what your Christian pastor is teaching you on Sunday, man. To collect your damn tithes money, man. Right? So he can drive a damn Rolls Royce, man. Right? And live in a $55 million mansion, man. Right? Damn rape it, molesting little boys, man. Read. And for their sakes, I sanctified myself. Right? That they also might be sanctified through the truth. Right? Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me. Right? Through their word. Through their what? Through, Through their, their word. word. Amen. And guess what? Blessed are those that believe on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai by the words of his prophets, man. That and his apostles, man, that come out and teach the people, man. Read. That they all may be one, as thou father art in me. Right. And I in thee. Right. That they also may be one in us. Hey, Amen. And we trying to be one with the Father just as Yahweh Chai is one with his Father, man. Right? Read. That the world may be believed that thou hast sent me. Right. And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them. Right. Hey, we representing the Lord out here, man. We the ambassadors of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. To come out here and teach the people. We represent the Most High God, man. Right? And that's an honor, man, right? To represent the Lord of this world, man. The Creator, man, right? Read. That they may be one, even as we are one. Right. I in them, and thou in me. Right. That they may be made perfect in one. That they may what? That they may be perfect in one. Right, and we striving for that perfection, man. Right, we're going to be perfected through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Right, read. And that the world may know that thou hast sent me and hast loved them. Right. As thou hast loved me. Right. Father, I will that they also, whom thou hast given me, be with me where I am. That they may behold my glory. Right. Which right. thou hast given me. For thou lovest me before the foundations of the world. Right. O righteous Father, the world hath not known thee. But I have known thee. Right. And these have known that thou hast sent me. Right. And, and we know that the Lord was sent by his father, man. And you can read that in, in John chapter 6 and verse 38. Bring that up real fast. Bring that up. John 6 and verse 38. It's the book of John chapter 6 and verse 38. Right. For I came down from heaven. Right. Not to do mine own will. Right. But the will of him that sent me. But the what? But the will of him that sent me. Hey Amen. So we know that Yahweh Shai was sent of the Father, man. Right? Not to do his own will, but the will of him that sent him, man. And guess what? Yahweh Shai has sent us, man, to come out here to do the will of him and his father, man. Right? That we 
all may be perfect in one, man. Doing the perfect will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Right? Give me the book of Matthew chapter 10 and start at verse 1. Give me the book of uh, Mark chapter 4 and verse 18. This is the book of Matthew chapter 10 from the top. Right? And when he had called unto him his 12 disciples, he gave them power. He did what? He gave, gave them power. power. Why are we out here? He gave, gave them, them power. power. Right? against unclean spirits. Right, hey, and guess what? Amer Babylon is filled with unclean spirits, man. Right? Bring that up. To cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Right, so we are here to heal the sick, man. Right? The sick of our people, man. Right? The brokenhearted, man. The destitute, man. Right, read. Now the names of the 12 apostles are these. Right? The first Simon, I jump down to verse 6, verse 5. Verse 5, these 12 Yahusha sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not in the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not. Right. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now go to all people. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right. And as ye go, Preach saying, and do pre preach what? And as he go, preach saying, right? The kingdom of heaven is at hand. What did the Lord say? The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Right? The kingdom of heaven is nigh, man. Right? You think we got another a hundred years in America, man? Right? Hey, God forbid, man. Right? Read. Come, on. verse eight. Heal the sick. Cleanse the lepers, raise the dead. Do what? Raise the dead. Hey, and as people are spiritually dead, man, right? In the congregation of the dead, man, right? Come on, read. Cast out devils, right? Freely ye have received, freely give. Provide neither gold, nor silver, nor brass in your purses, nor script for your journey. Neither two coats, neither shoes, nor yet staffs, for the workman is worthy of his meat. Right, hey man, don't worry about these carnal things, man. Hey, just do my work, man. Right, just do the work, man. Right, read. And into whatsoever city or town ye shall enter, inquire who it, in it is worthy, and there abide till ye go thence. And when he come into an house, salute it. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. Right, and that's, that's not talking about the house of Babylon, man. That's talking about the house of Israel, man. Right? And we looking for brothers and worthy brothers and sisters to fill the Lord's house, man. Read. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. Right? And whosoever shall not receive you, now hear your words when ye depart out of that house or city. Right. Shake off the dust of your feet. What are we going to do? Shake, shake off the, the dust, dust of your feet. feet. Now we going to beg him. Shake, shake off, off the, the dust, dust of your feet. feet. Hey man, we are here beg we ain't begging nobody to listen to us, man. Right? We are here to give the word and whom will hear will hear, man. And whoever forbear will forbear, man. But guess what? We warn in the people, man. That's what we're commanded to do, man. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. Amen, amen. And we just read what happened to Sodom, man. The Lord says it is going to be more tolerable in, in Sodom, man. In the day of judgment, man. When the Lord returns, amen, it's going to be ten times worse, man. Right? Than anything that we've imagined, man. Right? Read. Verse 16. Right. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Right. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Right. And we gonna move wise, man. Right? We gonna move, thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Holy Bible, man. Right? Bring that up. First, uh, what did you have? Mark 4. Gone. Give me 1 Corinthians 7 and 30. Mark 4, verse 18. And these are they which are sown among thorns. Right. Such as hear the word. Right. 
and the cares of this world. And the what? And the cares of this world. Right. And the deceitfulness of riches and the lust of other things entering in choke the word. Right. And it becomes unfruitful. Right. So you don't want to uh, uh, become unfruitful, man. Right? Worrying about the things of the world, man. The cares of this world, man. Right? You don't want to be conformed to these mortal thoughts, man. Give me that in 2 Ezra chapter 14 and verse 14. Bring out what you got. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 31. Right? And they that use this world as not abusing it, for the fashion of this world passeth away. Right? You want to use this world and not abuse it, man. Right? You want to be able to pay your bills, man. Right? Because we all got to survive, man. Right? Take care of your family and your children and help your brother in need, man. Hey, but don't abuse this world, man. Don't try to be that, uh, a damn billionaire, man. Why the hell does somebody need to be a billionaire, man? I have trillions and billions of dollars, man. Why there's so much people strung out in damn Thayer Street, man. And Kennedy Plaza, man. All over this country you got homeless people. But one man has billions of dollars, man. For what? Right? Read that again. First Corinthians chapter 7 verse 31. And they that use this world as not abusing it for the fashion of this world passeth away. Right, for the fashion of this world passeth away, man. You think when all hell breaks loose, man, that your money gonna be, a, a gonna help you, man? You think your silver and your gold, man, your Lamborghini and your Bugatti and your penthouse suite can save you, man? From a damn missile, man? Right? Khan, bring out what you got. Second address 14 and 14. Right? Let go from thee mortal thought. What did the Lord say? Let, let go, go from, from thee mortal, mortal thought. Hey man, let go from thee mortal thoughts, man. What are these mortal thoughts? Give me Matthew chapter 6 and verse 25. God. This is the book of Matthew chapter 6 and verse number 25. Bring it out. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink. What did the Lord say? Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink. Right, these are the mortal thoughts that of man's concerns, man. Right? Take no thought of things that ye... Read that again, Salah. Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink. Right? No, yet for your body, what ye shall put on, is not the life more than me. Right. Your, hey, man, your life is worth more than the, the food that you eat and the clothes on your back, man. Right? Read. Hey, if, if somebody try to rob you, man, right, and say, hey, give me your shirt, man. Give me the food that you have. Hey, man, so you can spare your life, man. Hey, you going to hand those over, man. The wise man is going to hand those things over, man. Right? The simple man is going to try to fight for carnal things, man. Now you lost your damn life, man. Over a damn shirt, man. Or some shoes, man. Right? Breathe. Is not the life more than me? And the body than raiment? Read on. Behold, the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. What does the Lord do? Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Right, all these animals, man, hey, the most High God is taking care of these animals, man, providing food and, and drink for them, man. Right, read. Are ye not much better than they? What did the Lord say? Are ye not much better than they? Hey, man, aren't you better than animals, man? Right, read. Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take... Jump down to verse 31. Verse 31. Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? Or, what shall we drink? For wherewithal shall we be clothed? Right. For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. 
what did the Lord say? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. Hey man, these things are, are these other nations seek after these things, man. Right? But what are we supposed to do? For your heavenly Father know it that ye have need of all these things. Right? The Lord knows what you need, man. Right? And the Lord gives you what you need, man. Right? Not what you want, man. Right? Read. But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh. But do what? But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh. Hey, man, you want to seek the kingdom first, man. Right? Read. And his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Right. And all these things going to be added unto you, man. Eternal life, man. Eternal rulership, man. Right? Dominion, man. Power, man. Spiritual powers, man. These are the things that the Most High God has in store for you, man. Right. If only you focus on the kingdom, man. Right? Have that kingdom mentality, man. Just like our forefathers, man. Right? Is that it? Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Right? Don't worry about tomorrow, man. Right? Let tomorrow worry about itself, man. Right? Don't worry about, oh, you know, damn, I got my rent. I, it's due next week, man. Hey, next week is next week, brother. Right? Focus on today, brother. How can you get right with the most high today, man? Right? How, how are you going to get right with the father, man? Right? Finish that. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Right. Con, go back to that um, second Esdras 14 and 14. Second Esdras 14 verse 14. Right? From thee, mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. What are these things? Put, Put off, off now, now the, the weak, weak nature. nature. Right, these are weak natures, man. You worrying about how you what you gonna eat, what you gonna drink, what how the clothes on your back, man, what what's gonna happen tomorrow, man. Just weighing yourself down with your own counsel, man. The Lord says not to take any thought of these things, man. Right? Give me the book of 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 7, man. Right? Read that again, King. Let go from thee, mortal thoughts. Right? Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. Right? And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy right? unto thee. Right? And haste thee to flee from these times. And do what? And haste thee to flee from these times. Hey Amen. And haste to flee from these times, man. Because these times are wicked, man. Right? Bring out what you got. This is the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 6, and verse number 7. For we brought nothing into this world. What did the Lord say? For we, we brought, brought nothing, nothing into, into this, this world. world. Hey Amen. You didn't bring a damn thing in this world, man. Right? Read. And it is certain that we can carry nothing out. Nah, probably. And it is certain that we can carry nothing out. Hey, and it is certain that we're not taking nothing with us, man. Right? And not like these Egyptians, man. Hey, their custom, right, is that why they have those uh, sepulchers, man, or sarcophagus. Is that how it's pronounced? Sarcophagus. Right? They would put all their riches inside those sarcophaguses and try to say it's going to be translated with them in paradise, man. Read that again. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. Right, and it is certain we can't bring any of these things with us, man. Right, read up. And having food and raiment, right, let us be where with content. Let us be what? Let us be where with, there with content. Right, you want to be content with what you have, man. Right? Whatever you have is what the Most High says you need, man. You don't need nothing more than that, man. Right? The Lord knows what you need, man. Right? Not what you want, man. Right? Read. But they that will be rich fall into temptation. But they that what? But they that will be rich, rich fall, fall into, into temptation. temptation. Hey, man, you don't know what the rich man, how he got his riches, man. What he sacrificed his soul to acquire, man. Read. And a snare. And a what? And, and a snare. snare. Hey, Amen. And a snare, man. Read. And into many foolish and hurtful lusts. Hey, and foolish and hurtful lusts. Right? Getting damn butt break, man. Right? A lot of our people, they sell their soul to this, to this system, man. 
to the so-called white man, man, to the governments, man, right? Right? Sold their soul to, to this land society, man, being conformed to this world, man. Read? And, which drown men in destruction and perdition. Which do what? Which drown men in destruction and perdition. Hey, man, and guess what? They've been drowned into destruction, man. Right? What verse you at? Verse 10, right? Read. For the love of money is the root of all evil. What did the Lord say? For, for the, the love, love of money is, is the root of all evil. evil. Amen. For the love of money is the root of all evil. Amen. Right? Read. Which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith. They have what? They have erred from the faith. What are these mortal thoughts? They have erred from the faith. Amen. A lot of you try to get all these things, man. And guess what? You desiring these things made you to err from the faith, man. right? And pierced themselves through with many sorrow. And did what? And pierced themselves through with many sorrow. Hey man, now you destroying yourself, man, right? Just because you seeking to acquire things out of measure, man, that you're not supposed to be worried about, man. Worried about this world, man, right? Worrying about these carnal things, man. Looking back, man, right? Read. But thou, O oh man of God. But a oh what? But thou, O oh man of God. God. Who are we speaking to? But, but thou, O oh man, man of God. God. O oh man of God, flee these things. Do what? Flee these things. Do what? Flee these things. Read. And follow after righteousness. And do what? And follow after righteousness. And do what? And follow after righteousness. Hey Amen. And the man of God is not going to, uh, is going to flee these things and follow after righteousness, man. Godliness, right? Faith, right? Love, right? Patience, right? Meekness, right? Fight the good fight of faith. Do what? Fight, fight the, the good, good fight, fight of faith. faith. Amen. Fight the good fight of faith, man. Read. Lay hold on eternal life. Now nah, lay hold on a Bugatti. Lay, lay hold, hold on, on eternal life. life. Now nah, lay hold on a damn mansion. Lay, lay hold on, on eternal, eternal life. life. Amen. Lay hold on eternal life, man. Where unto thou art also called, right? And has professed a good profession before many witnesses. And have did what? And have professed, professed a good profession before many witnesses. Amen. And our profession is as ambassadors of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. And we do so by Hashim, Amashiach, Womalak, Yahweh Shai. Hey, sit them while come testing them. Pick two rap with a sling might lick off and met like a man from Jesse. Uh, heard the day talking that big talk, lip off, which got listen, don't vex me. I'ma stand for the father perpetually, definitely big man, don't get chesty. Any weapon they form don't stress me. Hey, I'm an Israelite child, no destiny. Separated, he chose and select me. In his rainy, he clove and he dressed me. Look without him, my soul will be empty. To the Lord of the host, I confess thee. I don't do this for sport or for trendies. Disrespect it'll only get messy. Uh. Yeah, they can never take hold of my faith. I'ma stand with my sword at the gate. Holiness to the Lord on the plate. See your idols ain't holding no weight. I ain't here trying to hold no debate. See my God ain't no solar replace. Disrespecting the stone of your face. Look, you must be a fool to